ladies and gents, what the fuck is up? People, the adventure for an exciting purchase has just begun. It all ties into a really big picture right now. A really big picture that includes puzzle pieces such as self-discovery, freedom, experience, um, and whatever else kind of falls falls between the cracks and, and works its way into this experience as well. So, yeah, I'm fucking excited, Bid. This is gonna be great! <laughs> wow. Look at the sky. The sky is amazing. Your boy is in Denver, Colorado right now, people. I'm just taking a little stroll. My check-in time is 3 o'clock, and it's currently 2. 2 o'clock. So, I got my fucking travel belongings here with me. I'm walking to a little pho joint. So, a little bit of a Asian cuisine going on. I'm excited for that. Little bitch. You know what I just remembered about pho and Vietnamese food? Usually, that shit means boba, bro. So check it out. We're at pho 92. Let's get it. Yo, yo, yo. Check it out, people. We got brown sugar, fresh milk, boba. This is an incredibly large portion <laughs> of chicken chow mein, bro. Holy shit. Let me just say, first of all, this is so much food. No way am I gonna kill this. Second of all, I'm so happy that I live post boba tea invention. Cause this shit is so fucking hard, bro. I've never had crispy noodle chicken chow mein before, dude, straight up. Like I, uh, I'm 99% sure. Well, I'm 100% sure that I've had chow mein before, that I've ordered that and that I've consumed it. But I've never had one with like actually crispy noodles like that. And oh my God, it was so fucking good. I mean, the whole bowl, or the whole, you know, all the noodles weren't like crispy necessarily. I could definitely tell they were at one point cooked to be crispy, but like the best ones were like soaked in whatever broth or gravy, whatever the fuck you want to call it. The best ones were soaked in that shit. So since my boba milk tea has the word milk in it, I'm going to go ahead and say that I think it's safe to assume that it definitely had like dairy milk in it, which your boy's stomach does not usually like. Lactose is not one of my favorite sugars. So uh, we'll see how that goes. But in the meantime, I'm happy, bro. Look at these beautiful colored little trees around me. And look at the beautiful azule sky. I think azule is blue in Spanish. I'm not really sure. As you can see, we got the beautiful sunshine in the background. And it feels so good right now outside. It feels fucking perfect weather-wise, you know? This is my new 1995 Ford Econoline 350 extended. Let's go, baby. Your boy did it. Your boy made <clears throat> one of the first slash biggest steps in the direction of getting the van life uh, going. So. Let's get after it. My intentions with this vehicle are to turn it into a camper van and live out of this motherfucker. So, for the first 45 minutes of the drive, a lot set in upon me, at which I realized I got a lot of work to do. <laughs> so I'm chilling here now and somewhere north of Little Rock, Arkansas, having my first meal in the van. I had a wonderful Sonic meal. It was fucking delicious.
Look at the colors that are out right now. It's fucking gorgeous, man. It's fucking gorgeous. I'm trying to take my time, take a deep breath, and uh, not be so focused on like getting home, but more focused on the journey, right? Because that is uh, one of the huge like things that I'm hoping for the van to help me kind of teach myself, really, is the process of enjoying the well, enjoying the process rather than being so set on the destination, right? Like I've already caught myself a couple times driving this thing, thinking about, oh, I can't wait to do this to the van and this into the van and that into the van and, and this and that and this. And uh, it's making me think, oh, I can't wait to get home because then I can do this to the van and that to the van and this to the van and that. And like, it's not, that's, that's kind of what I'm trying to get away from, man. I've been living my life for the past 22 years doing that kind of shit. Just getting so caught up in uh, the future, right? And uh, over the past year or two, slash couple months, really, um, I've gotten way more in tune to the present moment. Um, that's thanks to the Peak Mind book, which I will definitely make a video on at some point. Um, but that's that's thanks that's thanks to like mindfulness meditation and um, yoga and just like dialing myself into myself, if that makes sense. So the present moment, man, that's that's what I'm trying to embrace here, and that's what I'm hoping this bad boy will help me really dial into. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna maybe stretch back out a little bit more and then hit the motherfucking road, baby. Yeah.